Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So as you can see we're outside here in the English countryside and today I'm going to show you this. Now this is an antenna, a dual band antenna which covers 2 meters and 70 centimeters which is 144 to 146 and 430 to 440 megahertz. Now it looks like quite a small package which it is and it's very very light so it's really good for portable use. Um, so let's go ahead and have a quick look at what's inside the package. So the whole package is held together by Velcro, which is quite nice, easily deployable. And then in here we have the antenna, which is all folded up, which is quite nice. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Now here we have six meters of RG174 with a PL259 connector on it, which is quite good. We also have We also have a little bag of tricks here. So inside the bag we have an SMA to SO239 connection. We have some cord here, which is quite useful if we want to tie it up to a tree. And here, this is how we inflate it. So there's two ways of inflating this antenna. You can either use this, where you can blow into it and inflate it with your breath, or you can have one of these CO2 canisters, and by pulling on this cord, it will inflate the antenna. So let's go ahead and try this because this is actually pretty cool. So like I said, to inflate it, we just need to pull on this cord and uh, it should inflate. So let's give this a go. And there you go one inflated antenna. So there's a couple of ways that you can mount this antenna or quick deployment. First you've got two velcro straps down the bottom here which undo and you can put it around like the top of a fence post to hold it vertically. The other thing that you've got as well around the top you've got like a nice little kind of hook part and you've got some holes which you can use the thread which I showed you earlier and tie around like a tree or hook over a tree branch. So let's try this out. This is about 1.6 meters in length. So it's actually quite big. You can see here that it's slightly overinflated and kind of got that slight bend to it. But you're definitely not gonna miss this, are you? Look at the color of it. So for demonstration purposes, I've just attached it here to the top of my tripod using the Velcro straps. Anyway, let's, uh, let's connect it up to a radio. And, uh, and we'll see how it works. So we've got here an FT3D. I've got the Shakespeare inflatable antenna connected up. Let's, uh, let's have a look. So this is GB3AU. It's quite nice. Let's try a TU. Okay, this is HR, so this is in London. Can't quite get to that one. NS, it's a little bit weak. XP. So to deflate it, we have this little in here. We just push it in it, hold your finger in.
Well, there we go, guys. That's the Shakespeare inflatable antenna. If you like this, then I'll leave a link down in the description where you can go ahead and buy it if you want. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely port very good for portable use, um, especially if you have like a an 817 or even one of the new IC705s. I think, you know, it's going to be one of those sort of uh, antennas you can just chuck in your backpack and uh, away you go. Anyway, until the next video, take care and I'll see you in the next one.